Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and in this video of Power BI interview questions and answer series, we are going to talk about one of the basic and primary question asked in almost each interviews of Power BI is what is the difference between calculated columns and measures in Power BI. All right, so let's see that. Let's get started. All right, guys. So now uh, let's talk about the actual difference between calculated columns and measures. So first of all, the difference between calculated columns and measures is their calculation method. Whenever we try to create a calculated column, right? So it actually leverages a DAX expression that applies to every row in the data, right? Uh, so in simple words, we can say whenever we create a calculated column that DAX actually go row by row. So each row in the available data set and based on the, you know, DAX that you have, we have utilized, it will return the value as a column value. However, if we talk about the measures, measures actually calculate based upon the available data set, right? So whenever we drag a measure in the canvas of Power BI report, they evaluate the value based on the available portion of data, right? So considering and applying any filters or slicers, those values will be created. Now, if you talk about calculation uh, refresh, so whenever we will refresh the actual data, so we'll go in the Power BI report and hit refresh. And at that point of time, as soon as a new values or existing values will be created or updated, that calculated column values will already, you know, will automatically start refreshing. However, if you talk about measures, measures calculate the values on the go, right? So again, if I, let me just take you on a Power BI report. So over here, uh, for example, I have created this calculated column or just a simple column. There's nothing calculation I have done. Uh, so uh, this is actually considering on creating values based on a row value available, right? So based on whatever year is in the date, it is returning that year. And it is static and returning same kind of value for entire data set that I have available. However, if we talk about, you know, measures, then what, how it works, uh, for example, in this card, I'm using a measure. So whenever I will drag this measure on the canvas, then only its value will be calculated and evaluated based upon the any selected slicers or based upon any available values or any, you know, hard coded filters, I would say. So based on that, its value will be evaluated on the go. All right. Now the third difference is calculated columns are stored in memory and that's why they occupy space and memory. However, in case of measures, they are not occupying memory. So whatever DAX we write in, in process of creating measures, only that metadata is like as a text is stored. So that's kind of a negligible space that occupies, that is being occupied by measure. Now, in case of calculated column, if we want to see the actual values, then we will have to go into the Power Query Editor mode or maybe in the data pane, uh, data tab, then only we can see the value like this, right? However, in case of measure, we will have to drag that measure on the canvas in order to see its value. All right. Uh, now, talking about uh, another difference. Whenever we are creating a calculated column, that values can be used as a slicer. However, measures cannot be used as a slicer. So again, coming back to the report over here, you can see uh, in this particular slicer, I am using this year column and this year column is created by uh, like using some functions. So it's kind of a calculated column, right? However, uh, if I go ahead and uncheck this and try to use any measures, then it won't work, right? So because we cannot use measures as a, you know, slicers in our report. So I hope it has given you, uh, you know, understanding what is the difference between calculated columns and measures. Now, 
uh, at this point of time you must be wondering because we have both options available so interviewer can also ask to you when should you use either calculated column or when should you use measures right so let's talk about that as well whenever you want to create or calculate some percentage based values right so uh, maybe based on some partial data or uh, uh, such kind of scenarios you should consider creating measures all right or if you want to update values based on you know if you want to update the returns values based on a user selection in the report then also to make it more dynamic uh, and user friendly you should consider creating measures now another point is when you don't need to show the calculated values in the data set so if there is no requirement of showing actual values in this format as a kind of report in power bi then uh, you, you should avoid creating calculated columns and instead go for measures and if you want to avoid increasing data model size so as we discussed calculated column occupies a space and so uh, apparently they will increase the data model size so if you want to avoid that and if you have an option to go for measure you should consider creating a measure now still there are situations where you should go for calculated calculated columns uh, so for example if we if there is a situation where you want to calculate it, calculate values on a row by row context in that situation you have no other than uh, option other than going for a calculated column also uh, i mean just for an example suppose you have a couple of uh, you know product unit price available and uh, number of items sold in that particular order and if you want to calculate the total sales of that order id then you will have to go for a calculated column because you will have to consider how many orders how many you know uh, product were sold and what was the unit price right so in that situation you will have to create a calculated column now another one is uh, if you want to use those calculated values as a slicer as we discussed in this one so in that situation you should go for calculated columns also if you want to display the calculated result as a part of uh, your data set and then also you should consider creating calculated columns now these are very basics or you know sample or kind of random examples that i have put in here there might be some other options or other scenarios as well with where, where you should either go for measures or calculated columns so it's just kind of a limited information that i have provided you here however i hope you have got enough understanding what is the difference between calculated columns and measures and where should you use either calculated column or a measure in your power bi report so uh, as far as now uh, if you like the content if you consider no, uh, you know content was knowledgeable then please go ahead and like this video and please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel to stay up to date on any latest video that i upload thank you for watching keep learning have a great day